Darrington, 25 miles northeast of Everett. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News reporter Chris Ligaros was in Darrington as that rescue was underway, and he's there live with the story. Chris? Yeah, live along the Sauk River. Wanted to show you the conditions here. Take a look at the water. It's still running very high, very swift. Lots of white water out there that can be dangerous. We were in Darrington when the alarm sounded and the rescue was organized. Firefighters launching a hovercraft on the swirling Sauk River to try to pick up three people stranded on the other side, a heavily wooded area without roads. Apparently they were in a raft and it capsized or hit a tree or something. Just kind of hit some rough water, ended up rolling their boat. We watched the hovercraft whip over the rough water and zip downstream. Minutes later, a very cold, wet woman was ushered up from the riverbank to a waiting ambulance. She was followed by a young girl who practically dove into her arms. We then watched the hovercraft carry the third victim, a man, across the river. He also was conscious, alert, walking on his own, and wearing a big smile as he moved away from the water. Are you up to talking about what happened briefly? Oh, um... Maybe a little later. Okay. Yeah. All right, but you're okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right. All of you Thank are okay. You. We're, yeah, a little wet, but you know we're good. What? They were really happy to see us. They were, uh, they really wanted, wanted out of there. So. Yeah, they're, they're ready to go home. <laughs> Now, as much as they probably wanted to go home right away, we are told by rescuers that the first stop was going to be Cascade Hospital in Arlington. Doctors wanted to check these folks out just to make sure that they were okay. Reporting live near Darrington, Chris Laguerre, Skyro 7 Eyewitness News. off the water. Uh, well, that's the beauty of it because you can drop it on land, you can fly across uh, sandbars, you can go over the water, it's um, very shallow. I just have always wanted one.